Hi, Brian here with Photonic Health to talk about emergency points. These are great points of any time you have any kind of a trauma happen in the horse. That would be of shock, um, injury, um, somebody takes and separates a horse, or even like fireworks where are really good where they've been out running and their, their respiration's up, they're breathing fast or they're sweating. Any of these things that do not look normal, these are great points to do. So the first thing you want to do is, one, is to call your vet and tell them the situation of you got going on. And while they're waiting for them to come out, because I've never seen a vet get there in one day or one minute. So you got some time, is to then start, get out your red light in two, and red light the horses on emergency points, starting with GV26. It's a great point to um, put at the horse's nose and see if you can make a quick change. Um, the third thing you want to do is once you get all through those, take a look and observe what's going on with the animal. And sometimes you'll be able to see that the sweating has started to dry up, the respirations have gone down, um, the, the eyes are getting more uh, more like shiny, that you look at the gums and the gums are going from white back to pink. These are all signs that something is working now for the emergency points. And then if you want, I like to follow up right away with green going through the same points that helps putting them back into parasympathetic mode, the rest and relaxation. And then if they're doing good, another thing you look for is they'll sometimes just shake and want to walk off and start eating grass. That's probably the number one thing you're going to be looking for. And if that's happening, then just observe and more than likely you're probably out of the woods. So um, that's where you start with. So go ahead and go through this, uh, tutorial that we have on where the emergency points are and how to find them and I think you should have some really good luck. GV26, one of our really most important points is located on the midline of the horse, located between above the lip, between the nostrils. Used quite often for when we have shock issues, um, facial paralysis, um, issues with intestinals um, and also um, sometimes for calming and quite often for calming and I love using this with the red and also the green light as well. So turn on your light, go between the nostrils, you'll find this deep hole. Put it here, I like to hang on to a halter or something while we do it because they tend to want to turn their head away. And just 10 to 30 seconds, GV26 which is governing vessel 26. Consumption vessel 17, used for heaves, cough, chest pains, influential for the breathing and lung capacity. We love this point because it seems to increase the lung capacity so they can have more air coming in. The location is the ventral midline with the caudal edge of the elbow or electronaut. So if we look at the horse, if we have the horse standing with his legs straight underneath him, we're going to come to the back of the electronon or the back of the leg comes straight to the set to the ventral midline and find CV17. Pericardium 6, another one of those great points we use for colic and also for issues of um, heart issues, asthma, palpitations, any kind of pull tensions or pain areas up in the head, the neck, and so forth. To find it, pericardium six, of course, it's on the it's on the medial aspect of the leg. You'll see that in between the middle, there's a nice groove, and you see a chestnut. So if you just come forward uh, directly in the middle of the chestnut, come forward in that groove, you find pericardium six. Now, if I was working on this horse, I would not do the opposite leg. I'd be doing it on this side and then switch to the opposite side. And if you feel more comfortable, because sometimes if they are having stomach or any kind of ulceration problems or gastrointestinal issues, you can put a hand on the leg so you've got protection. So if they do pick the leg up, um, you, you've got control of it without being hit by it. Lung nine, used for coughs, heaves, asthma, carpal issues, and joint pain. It's located on the medial aspect of the, of the carpal bone. So if you go to the center of the knee and the medial and come to the back of the accessory carpal, you'll find 
lang nein. Kidney three. It's used a lot for arthritis issues in the back of the limb or in to the uh, arthritis of the tarsal joint itself, um, issues with cycles on horses, um, restores the immune system, and also is a lot for back pain itself. It's located on the medial side in the deep hole of the hock. You have the hole on the back foot, on the back leg, which is bladder 60 straight across from it is third is kidney three. One way of doing this is you just put your thumb on this side and put your finger on the inside. There's my finger is right here and it's straight across and if you pick up the leg it's really gonna make a deep hole. That is kidney three. Kidney one, we're back to a ting point. It's used for shock, fever, pale, pain in the heels, laminitis, caudal heel pain, caudal stimulation, rehabilitating the frog in the back of the foot. The ting point location is very simply, follow down the back of the foot leg until you fall in the hole behind or above or between as well the bulbs of the foot. It's in that deep hole that falls right here. This also points directly into the navicular bone. So it's a great point to use to help navicular syndrome. When we're looking at the carotid artery on a horse, we're referring to the area where the vein artery and nerve run up the side of the esophagus up to the neck itself. And I typically like to put it, you can either put it like a couple fingers below the jaw or I bring it down to where it's just in front of the shoulder in this area.